This quick tutorial, I will show you how to bring the Pantone colors back into our color swatch library. Um, as you know, the, the uh, latest uh, versions of InDesign and Illustrator, uh, you will not find the Pantone uh, color library, uh, you know, baked into the application anymore. Uh, so we're going to bring it back. So here's what you need to do. So right now I'm in InDesign. All right, I need to use Pantone a PMS uh, 185, which is like a red. And uh, as you can see, when I go over here to my swatch panel right here, I go up here into this little grid right here in the upper right hand corner, and I drop down to where it says uh, new color swatch. And when I come over here to the color mode, I tap on that, and as you can see, no Pantone. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to change that right now. So what you want to do is you want to start by going online, all right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, we are going to go to we're going to type in these four words: Pantone Solid Color or Solid Coated Download Free. All right. So when you do that, I will right, we'll say go, and you'll get to this website here: GitHub, G-I-T-H-U-B, GitHub. All right, and you'll see. The first link that comes up right here is the Pantone Color Libraries, Pantone Solid Coded. It has a 336.acb. I have no idea what that means. But basically, here's the key. On the left side, you're going to see a whole list of all the Pantone colors, um, uh, or Pantone uh, libraries that are offered. Pantone books, I should say. Um, now, I'm not exactly, I'm, I'm not a big fan of downloading everything from the internet. I just something that I just don't do. So I just... Uh, I just download it on a must needs have basis. All right. And then this way, um, I'm going to save this. This is what I'm going to recommend that you save this link so that uh, as you need other colors, maybe you might need the uncoded, you may need metallics. All right. Save this link so you can always come back to it and grab what you need. So anyway, we're going to, we're going to use the, uh, the solid coded. Um, and here you can see it listed down here. I'm going to pick the Pantone solid code coded V3. All right. And then you can see it lists at the very top right there. So there it is. I'm going to tap on these three buttons right here, or the three dots, and I'm going to say download. All right. And then what it's going to do is going to download it to my desktop. All right. So once that happens, I'm going to come out of that. All right. Now come into um, the um, my desktop here. I'll go to go, drop down to downloads all right i'm going to drop down to downloads all right there it is right there i'm going to take it and i'll put it on my desktop all right just put it right there okay very good now next up what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back up to go drop down to applications all right now when i get down to applications i'm going to go to the latest right now as of this uh, recording i'm going to go down to the adobe indesign 2025 tap on that uh, I'm going to go down to where it says presets, tap on that. Then I'm going to drop down to where it says, uh, do, 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 do. let me see, um, here it is, swatch libraries. Tap on that. All right. And then I'm going to go over here, off my desktop, I'm going to grab that, that book, that Pantone book, solid coded, drop it in. I will get a prompt that lets me know that I want to move. Yes, I do. All right. And then it's going to ask me to put in my, my uh, uh, password. So I'll type that in. All right, so I can do that. And now you can see it loaded it right into that, that library, the Swatch library. All right, I'll close that down, come back to InDesign. And then what I'm going to do right now is go down to uh, New Color Swatch, tap that, Color Mode, tap that, and Drop down to, there it is, Pantone Solid Colors. Tap on that. Type in, I said 185. Okay, 185. There's that red. I'll say okay. And boom, there it is right there. I have it in my uh, swatch panel. So, uh, also, before I, I conclude, a uh, special shout out to um, Nick and Andrea over at Bayside Printing in Houston, Texas. Really great people, great company. Uh, if ever you're in the Houston area, look them up. Um, they are fantastic. So anyway, hopefully that helps. And now we can get back to doing what we do best. And that is design in color.